and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 65 Carpenter quest. And as always, hello from Mifri. Hello, hello. So we are here in Kugane at uh, 10, 10, basically. Um, we need to talk to Sammy. And you can see here, all of my crafters are already actually 67 to 69. So th these quests are quite late. But it's better to do them before level cap, just because of the sheer amount of bonus EXP they give. You get like 2 million per quest at level 65. So anyway, the quest is called A Lesson in Listening. And we will get Manipulation 2. It says restores 5 points of durability each step for the next 8 steps. Each step overrides all other durability restoring actions. Interesting, interesting. So Semi is bouncing on the balls of her feet with uncontained excitement. Cute. So, ah, Mifri, you're here. Since we last met, I've been working day and night to improve my shortcomings as a carpenter. I'm leaps and bounds from where I once was. Until now, I've been undependable, I promise you. Um, however, that from this movement forward, moment forward, will be seeing an entirely new side of me. To prove to you just how much I've changed, I've took the initiative and found us a new client. Her name is Ume, and she runs a local tea house. I've even finished crafting the item she requested of us. Are you impressed yet? Well, there's more. I'm scheduled to deliver it to her at her shop. You'll come with me, won't you? After all, my first successful business transaction is something you'll not want to miss. I just hope she got the order right. That's all I can ask. As a crafting teacher. Anyway. Uh, where is this? Let's just get it to the top of the list so it's easier. The spot map. Ah, okay, right there. I don't travel far to find customers, does she? What, what do you mean you can't use this? I took special care to listen to every word you said. This is exactly what you asked for. This charming little sign is certain to attract droves of customers. Exactly what I asked for? Ha, huh, it's a far cry from it. I told you I wanted something which would help me establish a base of regular patrons. This is an advertisement aimed at the general public. The precise opposite of what I need. Even if I had requested this ridiculous sign, what makes you think it would do anything to convince customers to come here? The writing on it is illegible. You can scarcely make out the name of my shop. Oh well. So, oh dear, Mifri, help. Ah, uh, you have brought a friend. Uh, you look like you're, you've got a good head on your shoulders. Perhaps you would be able to help me? So, excellent. While I cannot quite place my finger on it, I suspect my tea house lacks something in the way of ambience. I would like you to figure out what exactly that something might be and make me furnishings or accessories to improve it. If you find yourself short on ideas, you might speak with some of my customers. Mayhap you can ask them for their opinions on what would enhance their experience here. As it seems I'm no longer needed here, I shall return to the Shirokaze holstery and ready some materials for you. Once you decide what it is you want to craft, come look for me and I shall provide you with what you need. Oh, she's sad. <laughs> Poor girly girly. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. So, how would I go about improving this place? While I have no complaints about the tea or the food, it would be nice if they had books or a place to smoke to help pass the time. Okie dokie, next. So apologies, but I was just on my way out. If only this place was more willing to accommodate smokers, it would be much, much more inclined to stay. Well, I see what this is leading to. So for all the good food and drink, it lacks warmth. I would come here twice as often if they had a corner where we could sit back, relax, and have a smoke after a long day. Ah, smokers. Okay, let's go to semi. I can't endorse smoking. It's so terrible. Ruins mankind. Anyway, Mifri, I don't know how to apologize to you. It seems the harder I try, the more work I create for you. 
So if only I could figure out what if it is I'm doing wrong. I thought my problem was listening, so I made sure to take note of every word that came from our client's mouth. But it made no difference in the end. But I digress. Now is not the time to be dwelling on my failure. Let us concentrate on fulfilling the tea shop proprietor's request. Do you have any ideas of what we can make to satisfy her? Yep. Yeah. A nice ocean where people can relax. A cudgel with which she can defend her establishment. A pipe box so people can have a smoke and unwind. Ugh. So that's it. I've noticed many men and women in Kugane do indulge on occasion. Setting a pipe box in the area is a perfect way to invite them to have a treasure, sorry, allegedly smoke after they finish their tea. It's certain to keep them coming back. Now let us set about making it. You'll be needing this, maybe some of that, and of course this, here. That should be everything. So I think the tea house owner is quite eager to receive her delivery. If you could finish the pipe box and see to it that she gets it quickly, I'd be greatly, greatly appreciated. Lol. So I need to make a stylish pipe box. So let's do it. Make sure I use my food. So stylish pipe box, there we go, and you have to make it high quality, so let's emphasize, let's hit magic mifri macro number one, and let's see if it goes from zero to a hundred in one go, hopefully it will. And if you fail you can just ask her for more mats. No problem. But I would say with these sort of crafts, you can literally get to 99% quality and still fail. So just to be safe, try and get it to 100. I mean, it's there to test you after all. It's not there to um, just instantly let you win. Oh, crap. Well, that was unfortunate. Let's cancel the macro. So I've got this cancel button which cancels macro. It's, if you, in case you're wondering, it's forward slash cancel macro. And let's see if we can get it to a higher place. Okay. Um, 82%. Okay, so let's try a basic touch. 88%. Huh. I just wanted to see how much it gives. So it gives 389, 389, 389. So one more careful synthesis too will finish. So let's just try our luck. One more hasty touch. 94%. Okay. And hopefully finish. Okay, cool. It's done. Now, like I said, I would have preferred it to be 100%, but that's the one flaw in the macro, is that you can get that excellent pour at exactly the wrong moment. So if that didn't happen, it would have 100%ed straight away. So having that cancel macro button is really, really useful because it can save you in situations like that. So the key to running a successful business is cultivating a loyal clientele. I need for you to assist me in doing just that. So here's a pipe box. Pipe box of oriental design complete with an ashtray and compartments for several varieties of tobacco. Yuck. I can't endorse this. I really can't. Kids, if you're watching, don't smoke. A pipe box, you say? Ah, but of course. Why didn't I think of that? Many of my customers smoke. Inviting them to do so here after they finish their sweets and tea will no doubt encourage them to stop by more regularly. Do you see now, little lady? This is what I was asking for. Oh yes, it is crystal clear now. Uh, Mifri is a master carpenter, and in contrast, I am nothing but a miserable failure. Ugh. Ahem. Might I take a look at that? So, great gods, Tim Master Beaten, what are you doing here? I felt this call of wood and followed it here. Ah yes, the intricate metal inlay, coupled with the finely polished wooden exterior, leads me to believe that this was is your work, Mifri. You have quite the sense of humour, child. 
My dear lady, it seems my protege here has seen fit to furnish you with a pipe box in the truest sense of the word. What pray tell do you mean? A pipe box holds ash, and this particular one is made of ash lumber. Mayhap, however, you would need to be a carpenter to fully appreciate the joke. So, mayhap indeed. All jesting aside, I would like to thank you for this magnificent gift. <clears throat> I cannot wait to see the reaction it will elicit from my guests. Okie dokie. Nice to see you, sir. So, Sammy, from what I understand, Mifri made a pipe box at the request of the client. Tell me, why is it you also did not craft one? I'm sorry, sir. I've been giving it my all. Really, I have. But the sad truth is, the nothing I make is good enough to satisfy anyone. That's why I thought it best for me to stick to simply gathering materials. It is always a struggle in the beginning, but that is no excuse to quit. Failure builds character. Character which will allow you to grow as a craftsman. This is why I like Beaten. He actually encourages you. So while it might not feel like it, you have grown a great deal during your sojourn here in Kugane. However, it is time you packed your bags. You are to journey to Yansia next, to the lands beyond the Ruby Sea. Yes, sir. I shall make ready to depart straight away. So, Mifri, I will be going ahead of you, but why not? Once I arrive, I shall send you a letter telling you where we can meet. So, Semi, before you go, allow me to say this. You have a firm grasp of all the basics and a sharp intuition besides. There is, however, one thing that is holding you back. You strive solely for perfection. Remember, your purpose is not to create something flawless, but something authentic. Something unique that will be cherished for years and years to come. I salute you. Yep, no need to say anything to the master. Lol. I know. <laughs> My 33,000 YouTube subscribers know that I know. It's good that they know that I know that he knows that everyone knows that uh, I'm, I'm, I'm broken now. Okay, so let's uh, talk to Semi. You're going to charter like, a ship or something. So how exciting this is. I'm going to Yancia. Don't you fret, Mifri. I like... Like I mentioned earlier, once I have settled in, I shall send a letter to you by way of Kotokaze. This time I have every intention of living up to Timbasta Beaton's expectations. Why I dare say we shall be even be returning from our journey there with a tale or two on how I charm my way into the locals' hearts with my carpentry skills. Till we meet again in Yansia. Cool, so let's get this random item why not not bad this is actually an upgrade but I probably will sell it it's a complete because it's not high quality so it's not good enough for the Mifri so in carving new paths into the Far Eastern woodworking you have learned manipulation too nice and that's 2 million XP that's very very welcome so what's actually interesting is that the next quest the level 68 one is actually from you know her not from semi so, and we have a choice of grade 5 materia. Ooh. And how much EXP? 2.9 million. Jesus. So, anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me. And goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.